While sepated from the Rasur team in the crater's deeps, I found a Sanj empty. Whether it was a Kumo or even live at all, I knew no. It bore still with layers of overlapping hegons and glid bigger. Still, than Mstone Veed as a whole, it resled a Mazius Iliant Dusk. And now that you've heard the good news, let's begin the video! Hello, my fellow Pokemon trainers and Scarlet Violet enjoyers. And, well, when I say fellow Pokemon trainers and Scarlet Violet enjoyers, I do mean all of you. All of us, because there's 10 million of us. The fact that this game has sold 10 million copies in three days, breaking all known records, is insane. Both because, you know, that's a big number, but also, given the state it's in, how has that happened? Now, don't get me wrong. I have had so much and continue to have so much fun with Scarlet and Violet. I firmly label it as somewhere buried underneath a lot of the mess is a truly incredible Pokemon game. But that bury mess part is still important and it's got everyone asking a big question recently. When is the first big patch, the update, the fixes, the cleanup of the game going to happen? Because it needs to and it needs to happen before DLC is announced because if they announce DLC without making some fundamental fixes the game just lets be on its needs I think there might be a certain bit of um <laughs> but why why to put it lightly but we do have well some good news on that front first and foremost well, there has been a soft confirmation that a patch is on the way. The first patch is, in fact, coming, and that is very exciting. The source of this is supposedly an insider, so take that what you will, but it is certainly someone who has been reliable before, and certainly it makes sense with the timelines of things. VGS starts soon, and without a few things fixed, well, it is certainly going to get ruined by a certain few flaws that are currently happening with a certain Pokemon, and the battle system, and the fact that you can, well, abuse it to get 100% accuracy one hit KO move, but we'll try not to focus too much on that. Let's just hope that this patch is sooner rather than later. If we look at Sodden Shield, they also released around the same time as Scarlet and Violet, and they got their first patch in January, which is a couple months. I think that might be leaving it a little bit late here, and indeed that first patch back then did start to tease DLC, and that would also feel a bit off if it didn't come with loads of bug fixes and performance enhancements, and generally all of the things to make the game a lot more, let's go for the word, playable. Again, a lot of fun to be had, but there is so much more fun that could be had, and that almost makes it more frustrating, because there is such a good Pokemon game here, and it just needs a good bit of polish, you know? Good bit of elbow grease and a good cloth, and I, I, I don't know where I'm going with this. Okay, basically, just clean the game. And uh, that's very, very interesting. So yeah, all being well, ladies and gentlemen, we are in for a fairly major performance bug, etc. patch, soon, you know, air quotes, soon. It seems like it's definitely on the horizon, and uh, let's hope that that is certainly a reliable truth to hold on to. At the very least, it makes sense, all signs point to it, and it very much, I think, needs to happen to lay any foundation of DLC to at least retain a somewhat content community. But, of course, what might be in the update's past performance? What might be in DLC? That is a much more interesting question, and certainly something that we have plenty of speculation to go on. Now, to bring back to the very start of this video, which you're probably still wondering what was that about when you're just talking about a patch, well, uh, the uh, Scarlet slash Violet book. If you head to the school and via right when you walk through the door, sticking out of the shelf will be the book. If you have a little read of the book, no, I, I wanted to, I wanted to read, I don't care about night classes. If you have a read of the I don't care about night classes. I just want to... Okay. If you have a read of the... Oh my god, stop talking!
Okay, now that that child will never be seen again, if you have a read of the book, well, you have a few of the pages, some of which you have probably seen, you may have even seen all of them, but, you know, it's the big deal book, you know the Scarlet and Violet book, it played quite the role in the story with Arvin, etc. However, there are two very interesting pages of note. The very bottom is an Isk Piemann, or, you know, Pokemon, and this tells a sort of redacted story of this strange phenomenon deep within the crater. It's this sort of sphere of hexagons with strange symbols and glowing, and what was it? What was within it? Is it a Pokemon? Is it an area? To me, this speaks massively of the DLC will have us go even deeper into the crater to keep fording on through to find new areas and new paradox Pokemon, to maybe bring break through the shield, or find out whatever was generating it, whether machine or living creature. That, I think, is really exciting, and I definitely think that this page is a subtle little tease of future adventures to be had. And when it comes to future adventures, that means future Pokemon, and for that, well, we want to look at an imagined Pokemon. See, I think imagined here is very much to throw it off. These pages did the rounds a while ago when they were prematurely revealed, let's say, Say, but they are no less relevant now. This is a drawing of a fantastical Pokemon as envisioned by a sketch artist. The size and ferocity of the strange Pokemon that dwell in Area Zero's lower reaches tickled the artist's imagination, prompting this sketch of what other species that inhabit these depths might look like. See, these depths keep coming up. Coupled with the mysterious redacted page, it is this strong throughput of, we will go deeper, we have to go deeper, we have to go further into this crater, and uncover more and more and more and presumably the deeper we do get, the more powerful, noteworthy, and ferocious, and perhaps legendary the Pokemon will get. Because you may have noticed, looking at this sketch, I mean, it is literally Suicune, Entai, and Raikou fused together and paradoxified. Like, it is just a triple combo of the legendary dogs in one ridiculous Pokemon, and that's actually awesome, and entirely something I could see for a paradox Pokemon. I mean, if you think about it, if we say that this is an ancient paradox like the ones in Scarlet, perhaps in the distant past, the three legendary dogs were a single animal before evolution did its thing and they slowly separated into three distinct lines over many, many millennia or however long the past portal actually reaches into. And imagining us being able to acquire, battle, encounter a legendary that is all three legendary dogs at once? I do wonder which type would be dropped or if it would get some new typing entirely, but it does seem to very much be the case that that's going on. And if we look at the equivalent page in the Scarlet book, where there is a different sketch, well, this one very much has a similar aesthetic to it in that it's a combination paradox Pokemon. This time, we are looking at Verizion, Terrakion, and Cobalion all melded together, an ancestor or perhaps a fusing into the far future, if this is indeed an iron, another trio of legendaries merged into one and made to look just absolutely badass awesome. Like, god damn, he is a beefy boy. That's what a bit of Terrakion in you will do. And that is really, really exciting. So perhaps we already have our two new legendaries for whatever this new DLC deep dive into the crater will be, and it's all laid out here, hinted in these books. In fact, another way to add credence to this further into the crater DLC expansion type, uh, well, shenanigans, is this room where you get Roaring Moon or Iron Valiant, there is markings on the floor, and if you put those markings together and actually lay them out, they do form a very same, or let's be honest, near identical symbol as the actual corner symbols in the official Pokemon Scarlet Violet logo, and indeed do seem to match a lot of the etchings that you can see around the place in the crater. If I had to guess, if I was a betting man, I would say this room in some way will be connected to accessing the DLC, which is very, very exciting. And if this is going to happen, again, to tie it back, we do need that performance and those fixes and that cleanup patch, which all sources say is imminent, is happening, and that is very, very exciting. So to me, the future does look very, very bright. A big update, a lot of fixes, uh, DLC, new stuff to do, new legendaries to catch, and new paradox to explore, that is 
awesome. Let me know your thoughts on all of this, if you agree with my hypothesis, and if you think that you would be happy with DLC before a performance update, or if for you there has to be some performance addressed before they start peddling DLC. In any case, for now, like if you enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more, consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below, and until we meet again, a good Bye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye